Daniel Dodson from HammerItTennis.com and today we're going to go over the grip that most of my students struggle with, Continental Grip. Most of you out there have probably been told at one point or another about Continental Grip and if you're like my students you have some difficulty finding and using it properly. So let's go over the basics. When you look at the end of the racket, you should notice that the handle is not a perfect circle. And in fact, it is made of eight flat sides called bevels. When the racket is on its edge, the top bevel is number one, two, three, four, and all the way around to eight. Many of you have probably been taught to use your index finger knuckle as a reference point, and that continental grip is the second bevel lining up with your knuckle. You've also probably been taught that continental grip is used to open the racket face and I find to most students that this is confusing and means little to them. Continental grip should be much simpler than this. Continental grip is simply the grip you use when you want your hand and the racket face to line up and have a one-to-one -one relationship. Continental grip matches the racket face to the palm of your hand. So when you use continental grip in whatever manner you move your palm, the racket face will make the exact same movement. We can open the racket face and we can close the racket face. So to find continental grip, stop worrying about bevels and knuckles and let's try this. Hold the racket on its edge. Now hold your hand on the edge like you're making a karate chop. Now simply grab the racket from this position. You should notice that your hand runs diagonally across the handle and your wrist should point forward. The racket should be held like it is a remote control for your TV or like you're pointing the Wii remote at your screen. Your finger should be up just a little bit like you're holding the trigger button on the bottom. Now with proper continental grip you have the ability to open, close the face properly on volleys, the ability to snap your wrist on serves, and control the proper face angle on backhands. And in fact, those of you who play golf are probably familiar with continental grip but just don't realize it. The left hand, as it grips the club, is using continental grip so that your club face matches up with your left palm. This lets you control the face as it moves through contact. So don't let not being able to find and maintain continental grip be a downfall in your game. Just remember to point the remote and you'll see that you can master continental grip. For more, be sure to check us out at hammerittennis.com and shoot your questions to Daniel Dodson at hammerittennis.com.